question number six, and I'm sure you get this question just as much as the price question, and that is, how soon will my child get their black belt? Yeah, I get that question a lot. Um, it's, it's a crazy question just because, you know, come in and try the class first uh, and then see if you like it, and then we'll talk about black belt later. But, yeah, I tell, I tell everybody the question. I never avoid it. So it's approximately around five years. That, that seems to be a... That's what it should be. That's what it should be, yes. But in reality, there are schools out there that you can get your black belt in a year. Isn't that true? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I can't believe it. I've had so many people come to me, a student, 9, 10 years old, they're already a black belt. And I've asked the parent how long did they train. I'm thinking, wow, you got, must have got in there at 3 years old. And they say, one year. One year they've, they've trained. I don't know what happened, or, you know, where they're getting it. And boy, they, they, don't, they don't really know anything either. I, I can't even believe it goes on in this country, actually. And the schools that sell black belts or sell black belt programs, um, they cost quite a bit of money, isn't that true? Oh yeah, there's a lot of programs out there. They, they call it a black belt program. You pay a fee straight up front. Usually you've got to take a loan because it's that much money, maybe $5,000 or something for the black belt program. And then and you get a date for that black belt. They give you a date right up front. They have. I've heard the people, yeah, you get a date on when you get your black belt. And Maybe a year later, the reason they want to, to go quick is they get as soon as they get to your black belt, you've completed the black, the black belt program, and um, they'll sell you the second degree black belt program for another huge fee. So the quicker you get it, the quicker they make more money. That's something I don't do, and I, I'm completely against myself. You've told me a really good analogy before, and I, I'd like to share it with the audience. I, I think it really helps you to put things in perspective, and that is, um, it seems kind of funny to think that you could master any kind of art in just one year. Oh, yeah. So um, the analogy that you had given me was a musical instrument, learning to play a musical instrument in a year. Sure, the martial arts, it's, a, it's an art form, just like maybe playing an instrument. And, you know, black belt is that high level. In Taekwondo, it's, you're considered an instructor, an instructor level. You know the techniques well enough to teach them. And in one year, you're just not there. And, and I've given her the analogy of, like, playing an instrument. You know, somebody wouldn't be an instructor level, especially if the person was 9, 10, 11 years old, if they played any instrument, a trumpet or guitar after a year all of a sudden you're good enough to teach somebody else of course you could teach them something but not run a class and not be or considered be, an instructor or be a master can you imagine your child starting trumpet lessons and in a year he's playing in the symphony i mean that seems really ludicrous but yet there are people who expect that you can master a very complicated art in just a year so i thought that was a really good analogy and it helps put it in perspective for parents. So really five years is a good benchmark for how long it should take to really master the art and um, a black belt really is like a teaching degree. It says that you're good enough at what you do to be able to pass that on to other students. So um, five years should be what you should be looking for. True? True. Right. So that concludes this video of the most frequently asked questions and the answers that you should be getting. We have a second video that we'd like you to watch, and it is called The Questions You Should Be Asking. And sometimes we get into a little bit more detail of the questions that we've gone over, but we also add some questions that you really should be asking when you're calling a martial arts school um, and some of the answers that you should be getting. So you can go to our website to view that video, um, or you can check the link at the bottom of this video and click on there, and it'll send you to the second video. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, thank you.